Rapper and President Hot Girl Megan Javon Ruth Pete, or better known by her pen name, Megan The Stallion, has been a hot topic these past few years. Between her mother's death in 2019 and allegedly being shot in July of 2020 by Canadian rapper Tory Lanez, things have continued to be difficult for the Houston hottie. As Tory Lanez's criminal trial for the shooting plays out, many have been confused by the contradicting testimony of The Stallion's former friend, Kelsey Nicole Harris, who was also present at the time of the shooting. Prior to 2019, the two women had been nearly inseparable. Now it seems as if they cannot stand to be in the presence of one another. The question is, what happened between Megan Thee Stallion and Kelsey Harris that caused the destruction of what seemed to be such a strong bond? In 2013, Megan Thee Stallion attended Prairie View A&M University, where she was studying health administration. It is here where Megan reportedly met and got close with her now ex-friend Kelsey Harris. The two were a part of a trio that was well known on their college campus, which included Megan's other best friend, Darren Kyle. The three were extremely popular for their twerking videos that they would post on each other's Instagrams, which eventually led all three of them to a disciplinary meeting with their school's administration. Since then, all three had been thicker than thieves, always getting up to something together. Once Megan's career began to take off after the 2019 Billboard hit Big Old Freak, she had to reduce her class schedule down to part-time. The Stallion was no longer able to spend as much time with her best friends and the music industry can be a very lonely gig. It is then that she noticed that Kelsey was a business-oriented and organized person, a hustler who could match her hustle. So Megan believed that she was killing two birds with one stone when she hired Kelsey on as her assistant. During this time, it seemed as if Kelsey was Megan's number one supporter. Harris even helped the stallion go up against a major record label in Houston, 1501 Certified Entertainment, and their founder, Carl Crawford. When this occurred, she was all over Instagram backing Megan particularly in this one post where she replied to a fan accusing Megan of being disloyal to the 1501 company, where she stated, Megan ain't never been greedy in her life, and whatever Carl Crawford invested, he made back plus more. She didn't attempt to sign with anyone else. She never not once tried to leave 1501. She simply enhanced her career by accepting a management deal, which she needed at the scale she was on. And there are plenty more posts like this where Kelsey Harris can be seen defending Megan's character, which illustrates the upstanding loyalty that Kelsey Harris had for Megan prior to July of 2020. A direct contrast between the relationship they have currently. They have made it very clear that they no longer wish to be anything to one another. In fact, Megan Thee Stallion even dissed Kelsey Harris in her song Shots Fired, which was made in response to Tory Lane's diss track album, Day Star. In this song, Megan addresses both Lane's and Harris, but mainly she goes after Tory Lane's for releasing an entire album about her. But Kelsey Harris was definitely catching strays. And just like the title implies, her words were like bullets. The stallion did not name any names, yet we clearly knew who she was referring to when she said, you offered M's not to talk. I guess that made my friend excited. Hmm, now y'all in cahoots, huh? Okay, you were puss in boots. And, I know you want attention from the n****s that I get. I'm a steak, you a side plate, shrimp. Stay in your place. Real b yeah, yeah. I ain't selling fairy tales. FaceTime my n while my other n laying there. B think she sabotaging something trying to run and tell. Kelsey also responded with a diss track of her own, Bussin' Back and she definitely fired back. In her single, Harris implies that Megan had been a bad friend to her because she chose not to defend her from the public scrutiny she was receiving after news that Megan had been shot circulated the internet. But the reason Megan had not jumped to her rescue was because Megan stated that Kelsey Harris had allegedly met up with Tory Lanez just days after he shot her best friend in the foot. Megan also implied that she believed that Harris might have taken hush money from Tory Lanez in an interview she did with Rolling Stones titled, Reclaiming Her Story. Megan states, I'm like Kelsey, 
as my best friend, why would you meet up with the person you saw shoot your best friend? You're the only person in this situation that would clear this up for me. And all I know was, from that day on, she never said nothing else about the whole situation online. Since then, Megan Thee Stallion and Kelsey Harris have been at odds, with the shooting being the main point of contingency between the two. For context, here's a recap of the events leading up to the shooting taken from Megan's testimony. On the night of July 11, 2020, Megan Thee Stallion, Tory Lanez, and Kelsey Harris all attended a party in the Hollywood Hills. This party was hosted by socialite and brand owner Kylie Jenner. According to Megan, she wanted to leave the party early, and this sparked an argument between her and Tory Lanez. Many speculate that Megan wanting to leave the party had something to do with jealousy because the two had been rumored to be dating during that time, and Megan Thee Stallion confirmed this during her testimony. She also revealed that she was hiding this relationship from her best friend and assistant, Kelsey Harris. A GQ article titled, Here's a Full Breakdown of Everything That Happened in Tory Lanez's Trial, paraphrased Megan's testimony about what happened. The article states, Lanez allegedly said to her, you need to stop lying to your friend, meaning Harris, about their relationship. That led to further argument with Lanez calling both women bitches and hoes. It is rumored that she hid the relationship from her best friend because Harris supposedly had developed romantic feelings for Lanez, and Megan knew this prior to starting her relationship with him. It is also alleged that this was not the first time Megan had been romantically involved with someone that Harris had also been romantically linked to. In their SUV, Megan and Tory Lanez continued their heated argument. Once the exchange between Megan and Lanes became too much for her, Megan decided to exit the car. Megan recalls opening the door of the SUV, getting just a couple feet away, and then hearing dance bitch before Tory Lanes, allegedly, stood up and shot her feet through the window. Upon hearing the gunshots and feeling the pain in her feet, Megan said she was at a loss of what to do. She could not run because her feet had bullets in them and now he has proven that he will shoot her if she tries anything. Her only choice would be to return to the SUV. However, the SUV would soon be stopped by LAPD because there had been a report of gunshots fired from an SUV following an argument. In a video taken by bystanders, Megan can be seen exiting the vehicle, limping and leaving a trail of blood behind her while Kelsey was laid down on the ground behind her. When the video of Megan Thee Stallion limping down the street with her hands up in the air as she's being directed by the cops had first dropped, the internet went wild trying to figure out what exactly happened to her. Initially, Megan lied to the police about what had happened to her foot. She was scared. She had just been shot in the foot and now the police are holding her at gunpoint as well. She believed that if she told the police that Tory Lanez, a black man, had a gun that he had just fired, all three of them would end up dead. Therefore, she told the police that she had stepped on glass. For a while, Megan had not actually disclosed any information on the shooting, and when she finally addressed the situation, she did not announce Tory Lanez's involvement. Subsequently, this would lead to many doubting that she was shot, and if she was, they doubt that she was shot by Tory Lanez. Recently, it has come to light that Megan Thee Stallion and Kelsey Harris had also gotten into some sort of altercation that night. This couple, with Megan admitting that she and Lanes had been hiding their relationship from Harris, has made it seem as if Harris could potentially be the shooter. Either way, one thing's for sure, Megan Thee Stallion was shot in her foot. Back to the alleged altercation between Megan and Kelsey. This information had not been disclosed until Tory Lanez's lawyer said there was a witness who had seen them fighting during a preliminary hearing. This paints both Megan and Kelsey Harris in a very bad light. Neither one of them had spoken up about this at any point. In addition to keeping this key information to themselves, neither one of the girls had a solid story. Although their lack of solid story could be due to them both admitting to being intoxicated that night, it will still cast doubt on their retelling of the night's events leading up to the shooting. Despite this, 
Megan Thee Stallion would still deliver her testimony as honestly as she could, and her story aligned with the statement she and Kelsey Harris gave back in September of 2022. Kelsey, on the other hand, backtracked on several important details of her story. Specifically, she said that she could not actually see Tory Lane shoot Megan Thee Stallion. In Kelsey Harris's original statement, there were three key things that Megan Thee Stallion's lawyers were relying on for their case. One, she said she heard gunshots and seen Tory Lanez with a gun pointed at Megan Thee Stallion's feet. Two, she said that Tory Lanez pulled her out of the car by her hair. And three, she suggested that Tory Lanez attempted to bribe her with hush money after all that occurred. Yet when she took the stand, Harris recanted nearly everything she had previously stated and actively used her Fifth Amendment right repeatedly during her cross-examination. Variety features many retellings of Harris's testimony where she is caught blatantly contradicting her own story in their article, Kelsey Harris Continues to Backtrack in Testimony for Megan Thee Stallion's Shooting. It is here that we see that Kelsey Harris is adamant on discrediting Megan Thee Stallion's testimony of that night. Harris would even go as far as to imply that Megan was not shot at all. The article states, Ta asked Harris if Megan Thee Stallion was shot that night, to which Harris testified, her team told me she stepped on glass. Harris told Ta she didn't know who shot Megan Thee Stallion and said the Houston-born rapper needs to be held accountable for spreading false information. This shocked Megan's lawyers, obviously. When she was first interviewed with the prosecution in September of 2020, she explicitly said that she had seen Tory Lanez fire a gun at Megan Thee Stallion's feet. In turn, the prosecution decided to play parts of Kelsey's interview where she could be heard saying the exact opposite of what she is claiming now. There was even an electronic record of Kelsey Harris texting Megan's bodyguard, who unfortunately could not make it to the trial because he was doing security for the World Cup, that they were in danger because Tory Lane shot Megan. The text read, Help, Tory shot Meg, 911. Harris's excuse for supposedly embellishing the truth in her original statement was because she had been protecting herself, but she did not specify from what. She also stated that she did not remember much of what had happened that night due to her being intoxicated and other more personal reasons, such as her postpartum depression. ABC News did an article where they covered the bulk of Harris's testimony. In this article, titled, Megan Thee Stallion's ex-friend Kelsey Harris takes back statements in Tory Lane's trial, they emphasized Kelsey Harris's reluctance to answer any question that had to do with the shooting. The article states, however, Harris claimed she does not know why she said that because she did not see anything happen. Harris refused to refer to anything that night as a shooting, only that she heard gunshots. When asked by prosecutors if Lane shot her, she issued her Fifth Amendment right. Harris continued saying she did not want to be at the trial and that taking the stand was triggering for her. Her inability to answer these questions paired with her change in story, encapsulates the reason why so many are willing to believe, like Megan had hinted, that Kelsey Harris might have taken the $1 million of hush money. In sum, it seems as if the shooting may have just been the starting point of their problems, but Kelsey Harris's questionable actions, such as allegedly meeting up with Tory Lanez just days after he shot Megan, are what have driven their friendship to such a bitter end. <laughs>